Welcome to another video. I hope you're enjoying the series. Today I'm out in the workshop. My intention is to convert my folding ladder to the freestanding tree stand. I'm going to make a seat that comes up above the top here. There's a squirrel. This can be used not just for hunting, mind you. It's a seat for the top of the ladder. You could use it for anything. Go to a ball game, you want to sit above everybody else, take your ladder, pop your seat on top. You want to bird watch where they can feel more like you're their friend and not some strange little thing down on the ground. You want to, I don't know, anything that requires you to be up high. You could do that with a seat on this ladder, on your ladder, on your seat. Hey, there goes a the squirrel again. Maybe next time I'll show you the squirrel so you believe me. As per usual, I'll give you a sneak peek, let you see how it goes so you can figure out if you want to follow suit or just watch without taking notes. You know, just watch for enjoyment, for the fun of it, maybe the pleasure of it, your choice. Here it is. Ta-da! It's completed. Let me give you a tour. Weight's coming down to here. Got a couple uprights. Bada bing, bada boom. Relative to each other, they don't wiggle. Has a little bit of play going forward, but these hit the inside pieces. Just a little dilly whacking. That. Uh, comes out pretty easy. But has a nice little arm. Oh, stab myself. Has a nice little armhole. Ease of carry. You're back to a regular ladder. Nothing permanently changed. Installation. Drop in breeze. It works. Wiggle, play, bounce. There it goes. I feel like I need to address this. That there's risk involved. Sitting on top of a ladder that has, like, I don't know, let's count. There's like 10 safety labels. Most of them address the fact that I shouldn't do this in some form or another, some flavor. I'm gonna practice safety as I make it, as I use it. This is not sponsored by anybody. No matter how many product placements there may be. At least at this point, not sponsored. Certainly open for negotiation. Anybody out there that's looking for a, you know, a spokesperson, a banner carrier, anything like that. Uh, I might know a guy or be a guy. I'm definitely a guy. Without further ado, let's get going. So we've got zero minutes. At this point. Hey, look at that. It's me again. See a little me? Right. Yeah, I can't do it there. Uh, starting now. We'll see how long this takes. The first thing I want to do, though, is this base panel. I want it to be the full width. I've got these little rivets in here that I don't want to mess with. So it's going to be a little bit undersized. And then I just had this strap laying around. I think it'll be... Oh, it's actually a, maybe even perfect of a... This dimension. Got... Okay. 11, no, 12 and 3 quarters. 12 and 3 quarters. I'll cut it slightly on the... Um, the narrower side. And for today's cutting, I've got this saw. Again, not sponsored by anybody, but I'm going to give this one a go. My intention while I'm at it is to um, make it so the thing goes straight down. Which means I need to notch out a little bit here and a little bit here so I can drop it straight down. But I will draw it out. First. Safety. I'm going to use a stool. Like butter. So, there's that. Fits between the rivets. Pretty dang sweet. So, now I need to trim out for this. Go to there to there. And this can be pretty loose. Back to looking down. We have clearance. 
straight down. So the next step I want to do is a two by four that is this big. I'm going to cut this one just a little bit long because I actually would like it kind of tight. All right, it's a smidgen too long, which is what I wanted. So I'm gonna just graze off a little bit. Just graze off a little bit. These are up. There we go, slide to side. Alrighty, next. I'm going to cut my two tall up right. Measuring two. Be right back. I'm back. Whoa! I'm tripping. I'm tripping, dog. That's probably a song. All right, so the intention here is to use the top of the arc as support. That may be a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. I'll test it before I cut the second. Do. Match this one to the next one. They match up pretty well. I'm going to attach them at this point. These two to the last one. Oh, ha! Stopped it. I think I let it go a little long again. Why did I bother? Uh, it'll get. It'll be close. Maybe I should wear it. The yellow stopwatch doesn't have a lanyard anymore. I attribute that to a child. Yeah, not like your coach. I'm gonna pre-drill, then I'm gonna screw in the screws up into the bottom of the boards I just cut. Too fast forward. <laughs> Unfast forward. So I've got these pretty long beefy screws, and I've got inch and inch and a quarter. This one's an inch drywall screws. Clearly not um, coated for outdoor use or anything, but I'll use them for putting the plywood in. And then two by four to two by four, I'm gonna do this guy pre-drilled with I think it's an eighth inch. Refast forward. So, Ooh, that's hot. That's really hot. shout out to my sister-in-law for give me some driver bits. Thanks, I'm using it. Here, here's one of the many. Got them poking out enough to stab into the. Two by four. Got it. There you go. Swap back to the driver. Snug. That is what I like. All right, got this and this. Now we need a seat. I'm going to measure my seat off camera. We don't need a number for this. It will be approximately this wide. Miss me? I sure missed you. It's getting warm out, tell you what. So, 
I cut it. It was the same size. Cut this piece right here, 13 and a half, or 13 inches by 18 inches. That's how big this ended up. So, I'm tempted to sit on it like this. That's a terrible test. I'm gonna sit on it on the stool. I just wanna see if it's a good size. Oh yeah, I can sit on this. I am sitting on it. All right, I like it. I need to attach it. Oh, I forgot. I want that. <clears throat> These guys are tight to the rungs. Centering. There we go. Alrighty. Time to drill a couple more holes. I'm going to do one at a time to stretch this process out. Just kidding. One at a time to make sure that it, um, I don't want to drill a hole and then have it jump on me. When I put one screw in, if the other hole isn't aligned anymore. That's bad. So I want to, one at a time. Actually, I'm going to peek to see where, where that hole actually hit on the 2 by 4 Oh, yeah. Right here. It's not worth showing you. Um, just because it's wedged in so perfectly right now. I want it to go deeper. I'm gonna do my two little uprights for this front part right here. Let's measure and see. I'm going to mark it and chop that portion off. I'm not trusty stool. You can hear the neighbor or something mowing or driving a go kart. One of those two. Alrighty, now it's time for driving some screws. Right 
We're going to do some assembly and then some disassembly. Take the screws out of these, pull them out. Yeah, that, that worked. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So, we'll attach this guy. Where's Mr. Tape Measure? Oh, I hit it for myself. Just kidding, it's still at the angle. Need it to be straight. Ah, any power! Yes. I just took the screws out of this piece. Just scooch it to the side so I still have a decent height measurement. I realized if I took them both out, this would just fall. <laughs> hmm, that one ain't crooked. It'll do. Trickier than I thought. I know what I'll do. I'll not put it back in until I do the other side, and then I'll do it. take this piece back off with the three screws, and then that'll work. Okay. Let me come out for now. Ooh, should do a little sanding. Power dribble time! I would sand it, but I don't have a sander handy, and I do have a power carver. Alright, so that's a fun tool to use. I think. I think I might actually be pretty close to done for this. So, let's try it out. I it should drop straight down. Drop straight down. Pretty rigid. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I think I'm going to take a break. This is comfy. An hour and one minute. You hear the bugs? There you go. Yeah, baby. Obviously, there's some further options that you might do with your seat, depending on if you're taking it to a horse race, you know, to a tennis match, out hunting, maybe you want to fish from up high. No, that, that would be terrible. You could do backrest, you could paint it, you put a cup holder, cup holders, snack holder. You put, I'll probably put um, a hook or something, a little dangly do off the side, so I can put my bow from the ground, and then I can acquire my bow from my seated position. You could put a cushion here. In case you don't have your own pad to sit on. You know, anatomically speaking. I don't understand that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another idea? Is you could build a canopy over top. A canopy around you? A bug net? You could even put, hey, you put a cooler. Maybe you put a cooler in here. This little nook is cranny. Put a, a drink, maybe a snack. Possibly something frozen, like an ice cream sandwich. Let me know if you have any other ideas or suggestions. You put some peanuts, some water, jug. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Watch another video from the series. Maybe it's not the most practical idea, but I'm definitely going to use it. <laughs> we'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Give it a go, give it a go, give it a go now. I guess it's time for me to go now. In case you didn't notice, that was a song. Here's a song. And I'll make sure to let you know if, I, if this needs like a safety recall. Alrighty, see you next time.